So what to do when you want to make paint but you're not in your studio? Let me show you my solution. This is my mini paint making kit. It's a Swiss army bag from after the second world war. It's fully leather and it can carry all of the things I need to make just tiny bits of paint or experiment with mixes when I'm not in my studio. So it comes with everything I need. A small muller, a plate with a frosted surface, a tiny pellet knife, a brush for the swatches, tiny measuring spoons, I have some water over here. Um, since I was going on for too long about these pigments, here is a list of the pigments. It's lemon yellow, benzy yellow, green gold, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, Indian throne blue, cerulean blue, azurite, vermilion red hue, pyrrole crimson, cronacridone magenta, red ochre, benzy orange, dioxazin violet, phthalo green blue shade and green earth. I have my uh, binder and some empty cups for the paint that I want to make. So just for this demonstration, let's make dirty blue. For that we need yellow ochre. And ultramarine blue. For mixes, I have two measuring spoons. as if we would do on the big slab. Let's first wet this pigment. And when all the pigment is combined with, or at least touches the binder, we can get the Miller. Looking at the mixture, we need a little bit of blue. Just a touch. This is how I would work with this set. So this is just mixing, trying things out. And as you might have kind of thought about yourself, this isn't something you're going to work on for hours. At least not this little batch.
let's see how we did. So we're going to take our water. We have to just take everything out. So this is what I came up with. It's pretty close, although it's hot pressed paper. Uh, I only noticed after, so it doesn't have the granulation and separating effect of Dirty Blue, uh, but it's pretty close. But that's not what this set is for. It's for mixing, it's for having fun when I'm not in my studio. It's for little experiments, um, you know, when I'm ho on holiday. So I don't worry about this. Uh, it's just uh, something so I can just work with my passion when I'm not in my studio. Let me know in the comments down below which dry pigments you would bring with you in a kit like this or if you're not a paint maker, uh, which are the pigments in your paints that you just cannot leave your house or your studio uh, without. Uh, so when you're going on a holiday or in a travel bag, which pigments, which colors, which paints do you bring along with you? And uh, you know what are your essentials for mixing, no matter the situation you're in. Let me know in the comments down below uh, your choices. It, it could be 24, it could be uh, only like three or six. That's okay. Let me know. Um, I'm very curious on you know what other people's uh, people's takes are. I hope you liked my holiday travel kit, the holiday paint making video. I hope everyone had a great summer. I had. Hope to see you somewhere in one of my channels or my shop very soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like the videos, put a comment down uh, in the video down below on you know the pigments that you just cannot go without. And see you in my next video. Bye guys.